What's next for the there? Because it's not Geno Smith, folks. That's for sure. Once the Seahawks and Russell Wilson's falling out concluded, everyone wrote the Seahawks off as being a top team in the NFC. But one guy in particular did not write back. Geno Smith is this year's Cinderella. Every season, the NFL gives us a new Cinderella story, and Geno's story fits the shoe this season. At the beginning of the season, no one would have believed that Geno Smith would go from battling Drew Locke for the QB1 spot to leading the Seahawks back to the playoffs, having the best completion percentage in the NFL and setting the franchise record for completion percentage, having the fourth most touchdowns this season, having the eighth most passing yards this season and setting the franchise single season record for pass yards. Yes, that's right, over Russell Wilson. Led the NFL in deep ball touchdowns with 13, and won the NFL's Comeback Player of the Year award, and was a pro bowler, and he has still yet to write back. I know it's a lot, but truth be told, by all measures, Geno Smith was a top 10 quarterback this season. And in some categories, he was on the list with some of the top guys around the NFL, like being one of only four guys to throw for 4,000 plus yards and have 30 or more touchdowns. The other three of those guys being Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, and Joe Burrow. Yeah, I know, that's elite company. He also came in fourth in major throws, a major throw is a throw that has less than a 50% chance to be completed. He actually led the category in completion percentage, but came in fourth on total completions. One thing the 10-year vet can rely on is his accuracy. Geno Smith was incredibly accurate this season, hence him leading the NFL in completion percentage at almost 70%. And I know what you're thinking, 70%? That's all checkdowns and play actions. But no. He completed his deep balls at a clip of 45%. He completed 72% of his play action passes and 53 of his red zone attempts. But if you don't believe the numbers, that's no problem. I'll just show you how accurate he was. Some of the throws Geno made this season were legitimate top 10 quarterback kinds of throws. He was never afraid of putting the ball in tight windows or holding on to the ball for an extra second or two and letting his receiver create just enough space before Geno put it right on him. Here on just a three-step drop, Geno comes out of his drop and lofts a deep ball downfield to DK Metcalf, who had two defenders in the area. The Seahawks did a lot of quick reads, allowing Geno to drop back and have options open immediately. But this is the NFL, and every play somebody won't just be wide open. And as the quarterback, you still have to put the ball in the place your guy can get it, despite the good coverage. Like this touchdown throw against the Lions, the defense here is not bad, but the ball by Geno Smith is high in a way and it allows his tight end to make a catch without having to bring the ball down. And remember those deep balls I mentioned earlier? Well, nobody loved those more than Geno Smith this season, leading the NFL with 13 deep ball touchdowns. But with DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett on the outside, Geno loves one-on-one -on -one anytime he can get it. In all season, he made countless throws to the one-on-one -on -one side near the sideline, putting it behind the corner and in front of the safety right in a bread basket. And here comes that beautiful deep ball from Geno, Although Geno being looked at as a 10-year vet is often looked at as a con, in some instances it's actually a pro. Like here having the awareness to step up in the pocket and not take off running when you thought pressure was coming. Stepping up in the pocket allowed for Tyler Lockett to outrun his defenders and it allowed Geno Smith to be able to get some more air under this ball. This throw here just isn't getting as much love as it should. It's a play action so he's rolling to his left. He throws it across his body with his right hand and just barely gets it past the defender's outstretched arms. It's really the kind of throw we see from Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen all the time, but not from a 10-year vet who hasn't been a starter since 2014. Without any context, these highlights in this season may just seem ordinary. But when you factor in Geno has been in the NFL for 10 years, and most of those years coming as a backup, you'll understand how rare it is for a guy in that position to come out and dominate the NFL the way Geno Smith did. And the defenses that were being put on the field to stop him didn't matter. Geno sliced defenses up in zone or man, completing over 63% in both of those categories. Geno Smith finished up his amazing 2022 season with 4,282 yards, good enough for 8th in the NFL, 30 touchdowns, which was good enough for 4th in the NFL, and 11 interceptions, which was in the bottom quarter of the league. And that's not even mentioning the records he broke for the Seahawks alone. Geno Smith at 32 years old isn't the most dangerous runner from the quarterback position, but he still has just enough to make defenders account for him on third and long situations, or you'll run the risk of getting burned. Also, the Seahawks showed that they love having Geno do three-step drops and letting the ball go quickly, 
But Geno also showed when he needed to evade pressure and give his receivers a couple extra seconds downfield to get open, he could. One last stat just to put a bow on it is if you look at this season for Geno Smith and you compare it to Russell Wilson's best season, Geno wasn't that far off, including beating Russ by a slim margin in completion percentage, beating him in passing yards, and he had two less interceptions. And that's comparing Geno Smith, who hasn't been a starter since 2014, to what some people would call a Hall of Fame quarterback. It was this time last year, a little over a year ago, when the Seahawks agreed to send Russell Wilson to the Denver Broncos in a move that paved the way for Geno's remarkable career turnaround and drastically altered the Seahawks' trajectory. The script for next season is still being written out, but one thing for sure is everyone who wrote Geno off, which was a lot of us, he kept all those receipts and he just went quietly about his business. While he never wrote back, we all got the message. Do you think Geno Smith can sustain this magical run, or will the Cinderella run come to an end as all fairy tales do? As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out my previous video over another player who had a revival, Saquon Barkley. Peace.